I feel it's such a blessing that I found Blue Cliff and uh, it's helped so much as um, raising a child and it also has helped me in my profession which is teaching. The students like to learn how to wake the bell up and to invite the bell and they're fascinated with this little brass bell from Made in Japan that I ordered from the Parallax Press catalog. <laughs> and they want to learn how to interact with the bell. So I tell them, um, when you hear three sounds of the bell, you stop your activities, you um, have a half smile, and you take, and you, you, stop, you stop your activities, half smile, three deep breaths, and you drop all your worries. I once taught in inner city um, Brooklyn High School, and these were students from Canarsie and East New York and really very difficult neighborhoods, very difficult situations at home. And um, I brought the bell into the classroom and it was, it worked really well. Um, I sometimes I had to strike the bell really hard <laughs> so they would stop talking. But um, I found that I just bring the bell sort of everywhere I go. And uh, it helps me, it helps me to keep my center. And it also helps the class. A couple of times I forgot to bring my bell, so I use my iPhone. And there's a bell signal on the iPhone, which I use. Uh, it helps a lot. I just use my bell, and it's part of my classroom management. Um, or at this point, I don't really need so much classroom management. It's more keeping them calm. I run an after-school program now, so they, they've been in school all day, you know, have had a lot of situations where they've had to just, you know, be among a lot of noisy people and so they come to the class and they, I just, we have quiet time and we have stopping with the bell. Just the stopping is valuable. Some students would come in with so much anger, so much to deal with. Um, and I would just use the bell to have them calm themselves. So I would say, as if they were coming into the classroom, I would say, calm your bodies down. And it sort of became my mantra, calm your bodies down. And then they would repeat it in, mock, in a mocking tone. And I would say, well, at least they're saying it. Um, and then I would ring the bell and they knew that they had to stop, stop talking, stop working on the computer, stop. I mean, it didn't always work, but at least they knew it was there. And when I didn't have the bell, they missed it. They really missed not having that. And now I teach an SAT prep class in Chinatown and they love it. They love the bell and they smile, and they take their deep breaths, and, it work and I also use it just for myself, just to center myself and calm myself, and realize, you know, you know, this is all about, this isn't, you know, it's not just me, my authority as the teacher, this is me in, in, in the world and helping other people.